Welcome back to Focus Today, and uh, what a delight to have with us today, Anthony Hopp. He is the Vice President of Samaritan Ministries International. And what's so unique about this ministry, of course, we've been carrying Dan Celia on the air for quite some time with his uh, financial issues, and uh, he does uh, one of the uh, spots for uh, Samaritan's Ministries, and you just heard him for those listening on the radio side. And so we're delighted to talk to Anthony about Samaritan's Ministries and what they do. So, Anthony, good to see you. Merry Christmas. Hey, give us an update. What is Samaritan's Ministry for those who are hearing it for the first time? Sure, yes. Yeah. Samaritan Ministries is health care for people of biblical faith. Uh, we're a group of like-minded believers who share one another's medical expenses directly, person to person, household to household, without using any insurance at all. And we've been doing this now at Samaritan for a little over 22 years, and currently there are 65,000 families all across the country sharing in this way, and that translates to about 210,000 individuals. That's wonderful. How does it work? Explain it. Well, every household joins and pays a uh, what we call a monthly share. It's a, it's a set amount, and currently the shares would be $220 for one person, $440 for a couple, and then $495 for a family of any size. And every month we coordinate all of those people sharing those expenses. So we let them know where to send their monthly share. The unique feature here is that members are sharing directly with another member. So as a Samaritan member, I don't send my monthly share to the office. I have the opportunity to minister directly to a brother or sister in Christ by sending my monthly share directly to them. And the process is a very coordinated one. So in other words, it's not a haphazard, we're gonna cross our fingers and pass the hat and hope that enough people send. We specifically uh, allocate or direct the right amount of Samaritan members to send their monthly shares to somebody with a medical need. And then finally, the, the, um, the exciting thing is that in addition to sharing the financial need, we're able to pray for one another and send cards and notes of encouragement. So community is really what makes this whole thing spin. And it works very, very well. Now, a lot of people are faced with the new year uh, increases to Obamacare, and you know the drill. I mean, this is quite a mess that we're involved in this country. We don't know what President Trump will do with it. Uh, but let's be clear, this isn't insurance. This is a share program, correct? That's correct. Yeah, there's no contractual transfer of risk. This is a, a voluntary um, sharing situation. It's really uh, crowdfunding for healthcare. You know, we're, we're becoming more accustomed to see, seeing more resources shared, whether it's um, through Uber of sharing transportation or Airbnb. This is really, um, this gets back to the Acts 2 church of, of um, God's kids taking care of one another. So yeah, that you're, you're correct, Perry. It's, it's not insurance in any way. As far as what the new administration will do, we're, we're hopeful that we'll get away from regulations and mandates and taxes because that's not the way to reform health care. If we're going to really reform it, then we need to have a biblical understanding of what um, free markets are and what personal, personal responsibility is and um, generous charity of a free people, not a people coerced uh, through taxes, uh, which is distributed to others, which is really not charity at all. It's unjust. Right, right. exactly. 